And finally this evening, in August 2024, South Africa experienced a 3.2% year-on-year increase in retail sales, bordering on a revised 1.7% rise from the previous month. This marks the sixth month of continuous growth in the retail sector, showcasing a stronger upward trend. Furthermore, the general dealer sector was the primary driver of this growth, with a notable 4.6% increase, contributing 2.1 percentage points. Additionally, retail trade sales rose by 3.0% from the three months ending in August 2024, and that's compared to the same period last year. Standard Bank economist Shireen Damalingam provides an overview on the recent results. Retail sales volumes overshot expectations in August, coming in at 3.2% year-on-year, after having increased by a downwardly revised increase of 1.7% year-on-year in July. On a month-on-month -month basis, sales volumes were up by 0.5% in August, from a 0.2% decline in July. The improved trend in real retail sales growth, as well as the recovery in the Consumer Confidence Index, are encouraging signs that the improvement that we've long expected in the second half of this year is underway. This consumption recovery has thus far largely been underpinned by easing inflation. Relatively steady wage settlements have also boosted consumers' real spending power notably. We continue to expect consumers to benefit from inflation and interest rate relief in the latter half of this year. The implementation of the two-part retirement system at the beginning of September will likely support retail spending in September, although a portion of the withdrawal of savings could also be used to service debt. The Saab signaled yesterday at its monetary policy review that it is confident on the outlook for inflation and economic growth. We expect the Saab to continue cutting rates and expect another 25 basis point rate cut at the November MBC meeting, with further rate cuts penciled in for the first quarter of 2025. This will likely support consumer spending in the coming months.